In this video, we're going to troubleshoot a mouse trackpad not working, operating any longer for your Alienware laptop. So I guarantee I could help you fix your problem, your issue. So let's go into it right now. So first thing is just restart your Alienware. If you haven't restarted it yet and you notice your trackpad's not working, just restarting it will remedy a lot of the problems. If you can't restart for whatever reason, force it, power it down. Just force it down, unplug it from the wall, and then plug it back in, repower it on, and see if that fixes your issue. Okay, probably most of y'all did that already, but just in case if you didn't. Now, as you know, Alienware is actually a lot like Dell uh, computer models. Actually, Dell bought Alienware out, and now they own Alienware, um, you know, since the last 15 years. So, what you're going to do, you may have accidentally disabled your mouse on your keyboard. So, what you're going to do is look on the function keys up here, the F10, F11. Look for a key that looks like a key, like a little trackpad here. It'll be like a box with the two keys that looks just like this on here. On most Alienware's, the function key is blue. Some of them they're not, but a lot of them are blue. So what you want, I want you to do is hold down the function key, the FN key, and try uh, F5, especially if it has the little trackpad logo on it. Some of them will be F9, which is fine. Just hold down the function F9. But see if you can find that little logo, and then tell me if it fixed your problem. Okay, next thing I want you to do is if you see your trackpad here, some of the Alienwares will be able to activate and deactivate the trackpad on the upper left here of your trackpad. And the only thing you have to do is just tap it. Just tap it here. Some will actually have a little circle there. Just tap it and see if that activates or deactivates or, or, in that, or activates your mouse. Okay, so after you try that, what I want you to do while you're open to Windows, and I understand that you can't use your mouse, but you can use a track. You could use the tab button, the T A B button on the upper left of your keyboard to scroll down. That basically represents your mouse. And what I want you to do is, if you can get down here to search, I want you to I want you to type in touchpad in the search here on the Windows on the bottom left. See if you can type in touchpad. It'll get you here to mouse settings. Go ahead and click mouse settings. And then what I want you to do is make sure touchpad is on, on your settings. And then if and if it wasn't, turn it on and then restart your computer. Okay, after you tried that, what I want you to do is do a run command. And if you've never done a run command, only thing you have to do is hold down the Microsoft key and then hit R, as in Ralph, as you're holding down the Microsoft. That'll basically open up run. And so what we're going to do is go into control panel and type in run, type in control, and then hit enter and that's going to take you to the control panel I want you to tap, use the tab button on your upper left of your keyboard to, to hover down to where it says hardware and sound hit enter and then what I want you to do is click mouse properties and then after you click mouse properties click additional mouse options and then I want you to, to make sure that the touchpad is enabled click enable and then you may need to restart the computer now if you tried that and it didn't work, go back to run, and I want you to uh, hit the Microsoft key and the R again, and you're going to go to Device Manager. That's basically where it has all the drivers. So type in D's and David, E V M G M T dot M S C. Type that into run. It's going to take you to all your drivers. And I want you to use the tab button again because you don't have your mouse and hover over to mouse and pointing devices and then hit enter and then it'll on the drop down menu it should have the option for your mouse your pointing device and what you want to do is you want to right click but in order to right click you have to hold down the shift button and the F10 button that will represent your right click button and then I want you to use the arrow key to click to, to right click properties or, and to update driver so I want you to hit enter to update driver and make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi or to the internet and see if you can um, 
if it'll activate it, it'll update it for you. Now, if it has like a little yellow symbol on it, that means it's just inact that it's enabled. So what I want you to do is hover back over to your mouse pointing device, hold down the shift button, F10, and then click on enable, or not click on enter enable, and see if that will take the yellow little logo off and see if you can use your keyboard then. Now, if you've tried that, what I want you to do is go into BIOS. So shut your computer down. If you have to force it down, that's fine. Unplug it, plug it back in. When you turn it back on, I want you to hit, tap the F2 key. It's on the upper left. Tap, 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 tap. When you see the Alienware logo. Tap, 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 tap. That's going to take you into BIOS. And then tell me if you could physically see your mouse move in BIOS. If you do, then you know it's not a hardware issue. It's an issue with the Windows software. But if it doesn't move whatsoever, then you know it's an, it's an issue with the hardware, the mouse itself. So that's how you can test to see if it works. Now, if it does work, look into BIOS and to look in the settings, and you have to look for it. It's a lot of times it's under the advanced heading, but you might have to just go to the left on BIOS, and you're looking for an internal pointing device, a touchpad or trackpad or something similar to that, and make sure it's um, not disabled. So you want to make sure it's enabled, and then if you do enable it, hit F2 to save. And then it'll restart, and then tell me if your mouse works. Okay, if you've tried all that, and you know your mouse is broken, this is a simple fix, and you may have not even thought about this, but I want you to connect an external mouse to your Alienware through the USB port. And the good thing about that is you don't even need a driver. Usually when you plug in a mouse, it'll automatically recognize... Uh, the mouse and then you can start using your computer again you it doesn't matter if you can get a wireless one or you can get one that's wired and you might have one sitting around your home an old desktop an old computer that it's in the closet somewhere pull it out you might have to put batteries in it and see if that works and you may be content and happy with that i know i am I, I actually i prefer an optical mouse over the trackpad anyway and so tell me if that works now if all else fails and you tried that and if you want to, you could take it to a repair shop to replace that trackpad. Believe it or not, it's not as difficult as you think it is to replace the trackpad. It does take some disassembly of your Alienware. But you can lift this up and then uh, you can unscrew the trackpad and look for the model number. And then go on eBay and then purchase a new one. To install on there if you're really technical I mean it's not that bad I can do it you know I, I can install trackpads with no problem but uh, you might have to go to YouTube and just look for a disassemble of an Alienware and then see if you can do it that way all right thank you for watching make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the like button and tell me which option worked for you I guarantee you 90% of you guys are going to say the very first option worked. I just had to hit function and F5 and it worked that's usually 90% of the issues. Some may be just you had to restart it. All right, thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe.